Hello, 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 hello. This is Father Adam with more good news that I know you can use. A few years ago, this lady was trying to hug me and in her fervor with her nail, she stuck the nail in this eye and she scratched my cornea and I developed a recurring corneal abrasion that nothing could help. Well, eventually, a year ago, I found a doctor who suggested that in order to heal this problem that I had that was debilitating, I couldn't function, I couldn't read, I couldn't do the things that I needed to do normally. And the pain was absolutely out of this world. If you've ever had anything like this, you know what I'm talking about. They say it rivals birth pains. Hmm? And the doctor says, in order to take care of the issue that you have, we're going to have to create a wound. We're going to have to cut your cornea, create a wound that will then heal. We're going to have to cut you in order to heal you, she said. And that's what they did. And now it's absolutely wonderful. I just have to use these drops, you know, the lubricating drops. Uh, and it's absolutely fantastic. I told her last time how wonderful how wonderful it is, but the pain she had to inflict on me in order to heal me. Mm -hmm. You know, in the book of Numbers, in the Old Testament, in the Hebrew Bible, the Hebrew Scriptures, chapter 21, the people of Israel, the people of God are being bitten by these ve venomous snakes. And God says to Moses, in order to save the people, Put a serpent on a pole and mount it. And anybody, in order to be saved, has to look at the serpent mounted on the pole. In other words, you got to confront that which is killing you. You got to confront. Look straight on. Straight at it. You got to confront it that which is poisoning you, that which is hurting you, that which is causing you pain, that which is debilitating you. I go to a 12-step program uh, for those who have an eating disorder. I developed an eating disorder because of things that happened to me while I was in Las Vegas. And one of the first things that has to happen besides getting through the door because the majority of success in this life is just showing up that's the hardest thing to do is just getting there but once you get there the first thing you have to do is you have to get up and say I have Ed Ed is eating disorder ED and alone, I'm not going to be able to get through this. I need the help of a higher power. It's the same thing that happens in Alcoholics Anonymous. The first thing that people have to do is get up and say, I'm Joe and I'm an alcoholic. And alone, I can't get out of this. I need the help of a higher power and you here in community. In other words, you got to confront that which is killing you. That was the beginning of the road to healing for me. Mm -hmm. confronting that which was poisoning me, taking life out of me, sucking life out of me. You got to confront that which is killing you, that which is poisoning you. What is it? Is it your loneliness? Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, I'm not going to get a profile online and find a partner. Huh? Come on, stop being your own worst enemy. You got to be your own best friend. Don't expect other people to save you. Only God can save you. And God is in you. Ah, activate that God. Start the process of saving yourself by activating the God, the higher power that is in you. You've got everything you need in order to get through it. Huh? So what is it? What is it that is poisoning you? Is it your depression, your anxiety? I was so depressed for so long. I mean, I could hardly move and 
it was absolutely debilitating. I needed to confront it. Hmm? Is it something called smiling depression? Because, you know, everybody's like, oh, he's always so happy. Ah. Something called smiling depression. Don't you know what killed Robin Williams uh, or Anthony Bodain? Uh, hello? Mm. <laughs> you know, we, we put our best foot forward, but we have to be real about it. Confront it. Stop hiding. Uh? Stop with the shame of the issues that you have. You have to name it, name it, name it. Put it on the pole. <laughs> Put that snake on the pole. Name it. Confront it. Mm -hmm. And then the road to healing begins. So what is it? Is it alcoholism? Uh, is it maybe being in a marriage that is abusive and destructive? Either you change. Tell him or tell her. Huh? Or I'm going to change you. Because I've got one life to live here. And I'm not going to waste it. Because God didn't put me here to suffer with you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to put up with your infidelity, with your attitude, mm -hmm. whatever, with your alcoholism. No way. No way, Jose. Uh, mm -mm -mm. I've got one life. Mm -hmm. Either you change or I'm going to change you. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah, you got to confront things. Confront it. Now, the one interesting thing about the book of Numbers, chapter 21, check it out. Mm -hmm. I recommend it. Is that God is the one who sends the serpents to bite the people. Why? Well, hello. Uh, no pain, no gain. God is interested in developing us in this life. It's called formation. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be the person I am right now if it wasn't for all of these painful experiences in this life. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be able to understand immigrants, undocumented immigrants if it wasn't for going through that same experience myself. Hmm? All the different painful experiences in my life, God permitted. Mm -hmm. That's what the book of Numbers is trying to, to teach us in order to develop us mm -hmm. in this life. Because this is a journey, a pilgrimage that we are on in which we are being developed. Mm -hmm. And we confront that which is killing us and then we become better. Hmm? Like I had to confront this with my eye. I had to confront my depression, my anxiety. I had to confront oh, lots of things. I had to confront it all. My eating disorder. Uh, and when I, you name it, you take the power away from it. So take that power away from whatever is killing you. Whatever is poisoning you. Because you've got the power. Because you've got Jesus. Hello, hello, we've got Jesus, and when we have Jesus, we have it all. I love you very much, and I know lots of people complain, they're like, eh, he doesn't even know us, and he always says that he loves us. Oh, of course I love you. Well, I mean, I always say, if people can hate for no reason, why can't I love for no reason? Just because I love, because I've got God who is loving me. That's why I love you. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. <sighs> ah, hello, hello, <gasps> hello, hello. <laughs>